The Association of Central Oklahoma Governments invited residents out to a family-friendly event in the Wheeler District. The organization's goal is to improve the quality of life for all Oklahomans. News 9's Angelicia Bruton shares how the group is encouraging people to get active. With the weather warming up, bikers are back hitting the trails. It's the solitude you get when you're out there biking. Uh, me and my wife, we bike together most of the time. And the, just the conversation to us is our, our uh, happy place. Jordan Evans with the Association of Central Oklahoma Governments hopes this bike month will encourage folks to pedal throughout Oklahoma. So being able to bike from Norman to Moore or um, from Oklahoma City to Edmond, those types of things are really important. Connecting these communities is a big part of what we do. Evans says a few things to keep in mind are to always wear a helmet and to keep up with the maintenance of your bike. He says things are improving, but many wouldn't consider Oklahoma to be bike friendly. The League of American Bicyclists actually just ranked us, I believe, 48th in, this, in the nation, so pretty low. But we are working on improving those numbers, um, especially in our metro areas um, like Oklahoma City, Edmund Norman. The city says they're almost done with a four-year project called Bike Walk OKC, which will add more trails and sidewalks throughout the city. We're also interested in having more of a system where um, bike trails and bike um, lanes and sidewalks are connected so people can walk and bike to work and to school and also for recreation. This project is expected to be done later this year. Bike Fest was just the kickoff event for Bike Month. You can find out more about future events on the News 9 app. In Oklahoma City, Angelicia Bruton, Oklahoma's own News 9.